What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Seasons video for Seasons 19. Today, we're going to talk about silage. We're going to take a look at silage in normal game, which is where we are right now. We do not have Seasons installed. And then we're going to install Seasons. I have two identical game saves right here. This is the one without Seasons. Of course, one with. What we're going to do is we're going to make silage the old-fashioned way. We're going to put it in the bunker. We are going to run over it, and then we are going to see how long it takes to work or turn into silage. And then we're going to do the same thing with wrapping. We've got a wrapper right here. We're going to take a couple round bells, a couple square bells of grass, rather, not hay, but of grass, and we're going to see how long that takes. Now, I can already tell you in-game, once you wrap it, it turns into silage immediately. But we're going to take a look just in case. So let's jump in. Let's fill this up with chaff. Let's drop a couple grass bells. Let's get it started. Right now we've got it set to 8 a.m. and it is on time zero, so it's not going anywhere. Let's take this guy right here and let's fill this up with chaff. We're not going to use anything else. We're going to be using straight up chaff now that we have our chaff let's go ahead and come in here to the bunker and we are just going to start dumping it out now there is no speed or anything that you need to go doing this we've got forty-five thousand liters but we could easily do the same thing with like five liters and it would work exactly the same so there's that now all we got to do is run it over and this is the best way to do this. We're going to turn on our help window. We're going to take a look at our compaction. And it's looking like our compaction's going good. 10% already. 13, 14% on the first pass. We're going to do this over and over and over again. The more weight you can get on here, the better. Um, since we've got a trailer and a tractor, this is the 9 series, the 900 series from Fent. Figured. Well, this shouldn't take too long. And we now have 100% compaction. It doesn't have to be nice. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be. So we're going to come in here. We're going to press down on the left stick. Blanket the silo. Make sure you're not standing on or else you get stuck. Now, we have a blanketed silo and it says 1% fermented. However, that is not going to increase until we increase our time. It's going to take a little while. So now, we're going to get into bale wrapping. What I'm going to do is we're going to drop down three grass round bells and three grass square bales. That way we can see if there's any difference between round and square. We have the Kuhn... What is this guy right here? I can't even remember which one this is. Anyway, this is the in-game version. Let's see, the SW4014. The reason we're doing three is just so we don't have any outliers. Nothing is wrong or problematic, anything like that. So... We're going to wrap these up. We're going to have three of each. And then we're going to take a look and see, is what we have silage? And I'm going to tell you, yeah, <laughs> this is already silage. And here is our last bell. We're going to go ahead and drop it down again. Time has not gone at all. Still 8 a.m. in the morning. Let's go ahead and drop that right there. Perfect. And we can turn that off. Now we're going to come over here. I'm going to show you guys still 1% fermented. But we've got... Six bells here, three round, three square. I have the brand new Massey Ferguson right here that just came out. Uh, this right here is part of the pack that you can strap vehicles down with. And we're just gonna come up and we're going to spear it. And guess what? Bottom right hand corner says silage. All of these are gonna say silage. Also, this is a really great way to tell if uh, what's what. Silage, silage, I bet you this one's gonna say silage too. How's about that? It says silage. I'm only going to test one of these square ones because I think you guys know where we're going with this. Boom. Silage. So all of these with baling, boom. They are immediately silage. That is one of the great things about doing silage bales in normal mode, or I say normal mode, without seasons installed, is it becomes silage right away. However, how long does it take for this in normal mode? Now I'm gonna show you guys my settings because this is extremely important. We're gonna pop in and it is gonna show time scale. Well, it says real time, we're in time zero right now, but economic difficulty, normal right now. So that is that. We did start in new farmer. If that has anything to do with anything, 
Well, we shall see. But what I'm going to do is we are going to fast forward time and we're going to see how long does it take to ferment the silage to 100%. So exactly six hours has passed and we are at 50%. That's telling me it's going to take 12 total hours to go from not fermented to 100% fermented. We're going to go the rest of the way, but I imagine it will be right on the money, right at 12 hours. And there we go, right on the money at 20 hundred hours. Boom. This silo just complete, and now we can open the silo and get the silage out. So this was immediate. No problems there. However, this... Get stuck on the darn wall. We need some lights over here. I need to put it back. The, this right here, it took 12 hours. But that's without seasons. What about if we use seasons? Are bells still the best way to go? Let's find out. And here we are in seasons with the exact same thing. Funny enough, we're actually picking up where we left off from the video that we did yesterday, talking about grass, hay, straw, and silage sitting on the ground versus in bales versus undercover, loose versus everything. So make sure you guys check that out if you haven't already. Moving on, we are going to do the exact same thing here. So we're going to take this right here. We're going to fill it up. We are going to put it in there. We're going to do all that. We're going to drop down six bells, three gra or three uh, square, three round, and we're going to wrap them up. We're going to see. But here, unlike using the other thing, we have the Wobster here. We could use that. So let's get right up to it. Jump in here. Fill it up, make some silage. It's important to note that all testing that we do with seasons will be with six day seasons turned on, crop moisture on, snow tracks on, snow mode on, and temperature units in Fahrenheit. I think that's important to let you guys know. Otherwise, all settings are exactly the same. If we come in here, we're gonna take a look at our main settings and that's gonna be economic difficulty, normal, everything else exactly the same. We've got chaff. Try and do it all the same way so that you guys can see exactly how we do this. So let's jump in. Let's crash just like we did before. The clip that I had to cut out, not cutting it out this time. If you guys are new to the channel, this is how we do things around here. We're going to dump this out. We're going to make some silage exactly, I say it, exactly the same way we did before. We're going to dump it all in a straight line, then we're going to run over it. We've got 45,000 liters of 100% compacted chaff. We're going to close that silo up. Now, you will see that it is raining. As long as the time's at zero, that's not going to change anything. So it can rain as much as it wants. As long as we keep the time at zero, nothing is going to happen to chaff, bells, silage, anything like that. Of course, if you guys watched the video yesterday, you'll know nothing happens to silage anyway. It's the, it's the one crop that doesn't get, uh, it's one crop that doesn't get affected at all by rain. As you know, grass, hay, and straw all faltered by the end of that video. Sad, sad times. Well, let's get some uh, square bells. Let's get some round bells. We're going to get those, and we are going to wrap them up and see exactly how long it takes round bells and square bells versus chaff in a silo round bells are up first just like before we're going to do this exactly the same way i don't want anything to be different i know it's raining but again like i said we're set at time zero so nothing is going to change just to show you guys we'll pull out the lobster and we will measure this real quick and you will see grass 4,000 liters we are perfectly fine and the very last bell is done let's put it down and we're going to pull forward and just get this out of our way. Now, what are those bells going to show if we go over there? So you know we have the Wobster. So let's pull the Wobster out and let's see what it tells us about these bells. So it says that it's a grass bell and that it's got 48 hours to go. Well, that's pretty neat, isn't it? It tells you exactly how long we've got. Neat, neat. Let's come over here. Let's see what this bell tells us. Again, grass, 48 hours to go. Now, will it tell us the same thing here? No, it will not tell us here. So we have no idea how long this silage is going to take. Very interesting. Well, you know what? Since I know we've got 48 hours to go there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang out in here. We're going to fast forward time. We're going to see how long this takes. And so here we are 24 hours later, fermenting silage 
8%. So, does that mean that silage so 25 hours to go, 50%, okay. 25%, 25 hours? 24 hours. I know what time it is. Come on, man. So we've got the same amount of time here, 50% here, 50% there. So it looks like it's going to take you two in-game days if you are using six-day seasons. And if I remember correctly from running three-day seasons, that's going to be exactly the same. It's still going to take you two days. We're still going to go through the full two days to see is it really going to take us two days or can we get away with... I don't know, but... I think you guys could see where this is going by now and we're coming up on 8 a.m right now we're gonna wait till this says fermented there it is 100 percent we can open the silo now does that mean that we can use this as silage now let's find out silage 4,000 liters let's check them all just to double check again you got to make sure you've got controls and all that good stuff actually none of these are controls if we, that would have just been a, a normal silage or a normal square bill or whatever. So it looks like all of these are good. We didn't have any fail. That is that is good. I don't think bales failing si fermenting is part of base game, but hey, well, if it is, you never know. Also, you can open silos from two ends. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but if it's open on both ends, you can open it on both ends. So what have we learned today? What did you learn today? I have learned that silage takes a little while if you are in seasons. It's going to take you 48 hours, and that's probably going to be on everything. Um, again, all tests that we do are going to be on six-day seasons. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the Go Ham Fam and turn those notification bells on. If you have any questions about silage for Farming Simulator 19, whether it be in seasons or not, let me know down in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you guys out. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.